Hi, uh, it's nice, very glad to uh, meet you guys and I introduce my work about like sketch simplification using Cyclecan with synthetic data set. And my mentor is Michael Lee is, and he's Kakao guys. And what is sketch simplification? So sketch simplification is like when artists uh, finish their rough sketch job, they put clean line on the, their rough sketch and they erase the original sketch. So this is um, sketch simplification task. And the reason why the artist is doing this kind of job is it makes more simple for like colorization their um, work. So I choose this topic because my hobby is also drawing some cartoons. So it might be better if I put my sketches. Oh no, <laughs> sketches there, but I didn't have enough to, uh, time. So I just put some of my favorite artists work here. So some guys might think, oh, isn't this just t types of edge detection? Why is it so like difficult? You might think we can just do this work using only one types of filter. So the first challenge is there's no um, much rich information in sketch data. So we cannot decide with local patch like using this kind of like um, sketch image because there is no proper image gradient and no color information as ordinary nature figure. And also we often need to join uh, multiple lines which often happened in rough sketch like this. So this is quite tough case. So yeah, there are a lot of um, rough lines which represent one clean lines. So I also bring some results of edge detector. So I brought some results from the 4.2 site. So they pretty work well on natural image, but if I gave uh, sketch data to their edge detection, it often have some weird like uh, <coughs> undesired distortion like this, or they often like oversimplify the edge um, the edges of sketch data. So because we use portraits for our post process, uh, processing, some might wonder, is that um, just portraits work well and our works not? So I brought some result when we run portraits only in this sketch data set. You can see many like um, many edges are disappeared and they lost many details of the sketch. So this is our original raw output and we just use the portraits to like get more smoother line. So now I talk about some previous work. This one is published in CGRAPH 2016. So they use just fully convolutional network with um, input sketch data and their ground truth of target image. So they train this model using supervised manner and they upgrade their uh, paper uh, as called uh, mastering sketch and is it archived this year. So they first, um, uh, they try to utilize some unpaired, like um, unpaired sketch and um, target image. So now, from now on for convenience, I will use terms as like input domain as just sketch image and target domain as pen image. So they first try to um, fully uh, unsupervised learning. So they just train generating adversarial network using the sketch and pen data set first. And they get this kind of weird result. So the generator just um, get some sketch and uh, draw some random line, but discriminant discriminator think, okay, this is looks like some kind of pen drawing. So they fail to uh, fully unsupervised uh, learning. So they add supervised learning here. So they get better result when a better result than we just to do only supervised learning, but still they need supervised learning uh, data. So now one can think about like a cycle gun. So this cycle gun is um, quite a nice uh, technique that can um, convert the input domain into the target domain in unsupervised manner. 
So if we closely look at the one, there is the two model. Um, if we closely look at the one model, so there is two types of loss. The first loss is cycle loss. So the generated image need to contain rich information to reconstruct the original image. So the fake image must have enough rich information to reconstruct sketch image. And then still there is a discriminator loss. So fake image, image, image must look like real pen image too. So like the failure case in generative adversarial network, this kind of random drawing will be rejected by cycle loss because a generator two cannot convert the random drawing pen image into the original sketch um, data. So in so these two type there there were two types of data set. Like first one is paired data set for supervisors, and the second data set is unpaired data set. So in uh, in the previous work. So in our method, we don't need like no need paired data set because we will use uh, fully unsupervised manner and based on cycle again, but a modified version by us. Also, we don't need a um, pen uh, data set because we will use synthetic data uh, instead of real pen data. So there are so many works that use, utilize synthetic data in other domain. So the first one is uh, some guys use synthetic humans in like using like real um, picture background they use in post estimation domain and this uh, the right one is famous uh, optical flow paper that used flying chairs uh, to get the ground truth optical flow um, data so if we use synthetic data um, there is some kind of advantage so we can infinitely generate training data you know like the number of training data is very important to train deep neural net. And second, we know the ground truth and we can easily control them. But so we want to use synthetic data, but we cannot enter the noise, any noise as the synthetic data. So how can we get synthetic, proper synthetic data for our paper, our work? So let's think about how artists generate the clean line. So I searched some case, like some artists try to make the clean line using Bezier curve um, in the MS, MS Paint or uh, Illustrator. So Bezier curve are widely used, to, used in computer graphics to model smooth curves. So and we, we need only n points to generate one curve. So we can randomly select, like we use four, four Bezier curve like we, we only need four random points to generate one Bezier curve. So uh, we generate this kind of synthetic data by using Bezier curve and a small size of circle. Uh, and so we generate like five to 15 curves and zero to three circles in one canvas. So each canvas is one figure for one data. So there's some advantage like before, so we can infinitely generate these kind of training data, and also we can easily control them. So we need clean line art. So we we need like regular lines with uh, all of the line. So we draw the Bezier curve with like even line width. Also, uh, this is the most important thing. I think we don't need to worry about any copyright. So I for sketch data, uh, I collect the uh, for training, I collect the 82 sketches from DeviantArt and Artists blog, and we also collect 50 sketches for testing. So uh, you, the figure in this presentation is sketches for test, and then we uh, generate a new image for every single data. So because we run uh, 7,000 iterations with six mini batch size, so we use like 42,000 new synthetic image. So now this is the cyclegan model. So we can put our sketch and pen data like this, and the like generator that um, convert the sketch image into pen uh, target domain. So that's the our output. And this was the first like result from the original cyclegan. So if you see the result like this, there is some unwanted noises appeared. 
So, like, so why the noises appear? Like, um, we, we uh, at the first, we thought like this kind of random drawing will be rejected by cyclos because generator two cannot uh, reconstruct the original sketch using that random drawing, right? But even though we gave them to a uh, very clean line art, they cannot generate original sketch because some noisy lines are disappeared already and we, uh, the clean line art drawing does not contain any brightness. But actually for the original like natural picture, uh, it might be more beneficial to contain like preserve brightness and um, whatever extra. But in our case, we need to erase all of them. So um, we, it is not desirable to like put brightness and noisy line in the uh, pen data. So, but to satisfy the size consistency loss, the generator one anyway like add some noise for additional information to make generator two generate the original sketch image. So we just um, solve this problem with simply adding some uh, extra layer. So we add an extra uh, additional layer to separate outputs for cycle loss and discriminator loss like this. So the like cycle loss flow like this and the discriminator loss will flow like this. So even, even though the, our like final output layer does not um, share the cycle loss, but the most of layer are learned from both losses. So we don't, uh, our models still learn very well using both information. So this is what they looks like, like in our output layer, there is no intensity uh, information, but in the extra layer uh, linked with cyclos, they have a lot of uh, more noise and a lot of information already uh, disappeared. So this, what I, uh, what, what we get after we modified our um, cycle again. So we can see the noise uh, are disappeared so if we closely zoom up, yeah, there is some kind of noise are uh, now disappeared as we want. So uh, why, why do we use Bezier curve? What if we just use lines instead of Bezier curve? So like if we use the, this kind of line generated synthetic data, we get this kind of result. So um, yeah, like many curves are coded into the uh, simple lines like this. So if we close up the uh, data, so that kind, because the synthetic data uh, does not contain any curved line, uh, the generator don't know how to generate the um, curve. So they just cut the curve into the multiple lines like this. So now like I brought some results here. So this is our result without portraits and with portraits. And if we close up, like some uh, multiple lines are because uh, clean one single line like this. And then the next one is, uh, yeah, this uh, just some kind of result. So without portraits and with portraits and there's some, yeah, noisy line becomes one clean line like this. And this is funny example. I just found the like internet. So actually without portraits, because our model learned to drawing some Bezier curve, so they try to uh, fill inside the dots like this to make more looking a Bezier curve. So yeah, more, more results like this. Yeah, um, um, and I also, like you already heard about nice work of Elliot, so I also try to uh, uh, generate some sketch data like this, so may maybe I can further like develop more uh, nicer work to generate base sketching data. Uh, yeah, and then we compare with uh, previous work which use supervised learning. So like third one is learning to simplify that use fully convolutional neural net using a paired data set in supervised manner. And the fourth one is mastering sketch which also use supervised learning. So, and ours are pretty okay with only like synthetic Bayesian curve and 
only sketch data. And this is the other one. And, and this one is, actually ours are the worst in this case, but anyway, it have uh, some compatible result in these, the other result. So this is my GitHub page. Uh, I not uh, uh, did clean well. Uh, I'm gonna clean my code like later. So you can check my GitHub page like later. And thank you for listening. Any comments, questions? I, I do not own like this sketch image. I know. Yeah. <laughs> generally, I mean, generally yeah. Any Right? 